guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Today we are talking about the hidden text in the trailer. So as I predicted, all the different segments, the little flashes of lines of text, uh, can be combined together to fill the redacted letter that we saw at the start of it. So we're going to be going through that, um, which gives us a lot of information about the storyline and just shows how much different areas of the world are in the wizarding world are going to be involved in this so this was combined effort from judah the self michael poker fodder chris of wizard way zoe stitches and witches david of pokemon leah Hon on reddit junior plastic on reddit and britta of witches unite so here we saw the at the very beginning the letter read this was all redacted so it was all blanked out and when it was all combined, this was what was created and translated. So, dear Kingsley Shacklebolt, who we know it from uh, the Wizarding World, you know, he's one of the order in the Order of the Phoenix. Um, Since the incident last night, we have been inundated with owls from ministries across the globe asking what on earth has happened and who is responsible for this calamity. We now find ourselves in. We must prepare our official response as soon as possible. French Ministry of Magic. Without wanting to spread baseless, baseless conspiracy theories, we wonder if there is a connection with the London Five. Have there been any recent developments in this investigation? Next, the Spanish Ministry send, the, have sent a note saying, are the, are the rumors true that the man responsible is married to one of the London Five? Now this is referring to Grim Fawley and Penelope Nell, his wife. Um, Japanese Ministry of Magic stated the calamity would not have happened if somebody, uh, someone didn't use forbidden curses. Has the ministry been obeying the prohibition? Chinese Ministry of Magic say we congratulate this quick thinking, unspeakable, who has cast a counter curse. Would it be possible for you to provide detailed information about him so that we can send out an owl? Now, these both speak about forbidden curses and counter curses. So it's suggesting that Grim Fawley potentially did something that um, cast some form of magic that has caused the calamity. This is backed up also by this part, which if you re remember in the trailer, I've watched it, you'll see that there's a little hidden in the bottom left of this segment of the trailer, there is lead over the paper, which reads, they love most and least into the light. And underneath it, it says spell, potentially rare ancient magic. And so potentially it's not a curse, possibly ancient magic. If you want to find out the difference between curses and ancient magic, go check out Wizard PhD. She did a really good video on this, really in depth. I'll put a link in the description to that as well. So check that one out. And then we go on to the Italian Ministry of Magic who say they are already reporting that the counter spell is very unstable. It seems that the things implemented to control the incident are not sufficient in the long term. So that's referring to us going out there and dealing with the confoundables by casting spells. And it doesn't seem to, to be having any sufficient effect in the long term. So we're going to have to solve this through other, some other means. And that would be interesting to see how the story progresses in that. Uh, how quickly it progresses into finding that long-term solution. Then it reads, quoted verbatim, so you can see the extent of the concern. Please see the following owl immediately in order to update the wizarding community. All this communication is highly sensitive. Please destroy post haste accordingly. Yours sincerely, Mathilda Grimblehawk. So Mathilda Grimblehawk looks to potentially be on the same side of things that Constance Pickering is. So possibly I know there's a, a point where we're getting her alibi and it seems a little bit um, untrustworthy. Uh, but it seems that Mathilda Grimhawk isn't a bad person in this. But hey, it might be like she's just playing the role of somebody who's good for now. I think Constance Pickering is the person that we can like most trust at the moment. But if, if you've watched, if you've ever, ever played Hogwarts Mystery, somebody is going to betray us at some point in that one. Maybe it's going to be Constance Pickering in this one. Who knows? Um, but that is the complete letter. So a massive, like a lot of work went into doing this. So good work, guys. They put it all together in order and gave us that. Uh, let me know what you think about this then. Uh, how do you feel about the RPG element of the game? Uh, currently, we don't see much of that in beta, but it's going to be something further. Do you think it's going to be something that actually works with a game like this? Or do you think it's going to be very confusing 
and you know kind of like mixing classical music and rock music actually because basically you can mix those things <laughs> classical and dance music well you know when different genres things don't fit maybe it's like that do you think it's going to be in the same way that AR based reality games and an RPG element do they go together We'll find out. Okay, that's all for this one. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, please hit the like button and hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content. That's all for me. See you guys soon.